Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, January 10th, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. It's Microsoft Patch Tuesday and with that the first Microsoft Patch Tuesday of 2024. Hope it's a sign of future patch Tuesdays, but we got less patches than normal and less severe patches than normal. 48 patches total from for Microsoft products, only four additional patches that affect Chromium and with that uh, Microsoft Edge. Also one open source vulnerability being patched here, the Stranger Strings SQL Lite vulnerability. That vulnerability actually sort of became known in 2022, but none of the vulnerabilities that were patched today were disclosed prior to the patch being released or exploited prior to today. So what about the two critical vulnerabilities? There was a remote code execution vulnerability in Windows Hyper-V. Always, of course, uh, critical if you're using that particular product. And then uh, probably affecting a larger number of users here also having a CVSS score of 9.0. A security bypass vulnerability in Windows Kerberos. Windows Kerberos, of course, being sort of the authentication access control backbone for many Windows networks. This particular vulnerability would allow an attacker to bypass authentication by impersonating the Kerberos server. Requires a machine in the middle position in order to exploit this vulnerability. But again, that's not really a stretch here. These types of vulnerabilities are typically exploited after sort of the perimeter is being breached and the attacker already has a foothold in the network and then needs to sort of perform some lateral movement and that vulnerability will fit right into the attacker's uh, playbook. There's another vulnerability here that's only rated important uh, that uh, sort of caught my eye and that uh, vulnerability is uh, CVE 2024-21313, a Windows TCP IP information disclosure vulnerability. According to Microsoft's summary here about this vulnerability, this vulnerability may enable an attacker, again, with a machine in the middle position to gain access to unencrypted content in an IPsec packet. Interesting issue here. Uh, sounds to me like there may be some sort of uh, unencrypted trailer or so of an IPsec packet. I remember vaguely a similar vulnerability like this uh, last year. We'll uh, see if there's any more detail coming about this in the future. Just for completeness, because people usually ask about it, what about Adobe? Well, Adobe fixed uh, one product today, the Adobe Substance 3D Stager. No idea how popular this product is, so don't really uh, consider it uh, that uh, big of a deal. And also, the vulnerabilities are just rated with a Im- severity of important and CVSS scores of 5.5. And Trustwave's Spider Lab uh, came up with an interesting vulnerability in the Coursera Device Manager. Uh, this is an authentication coercion vulnerability, CVE 2023-5916. And it's a type of vulnerability that we actually would more expect to be patched by Microsoft. But, well, here, Coursera's Device Manager is affected. This is a tool that's a web-based uh, application that allows you uh, to manage a large fleet of these Coursera Enterprise printers. And the backup path that you are able to set via this particular interface, well, it doesn't validate URLs correctly. The end effect is that you are able to actually specify an SMB, a uh, file sharing URL, and then the software will reach out to that URL. And with that, and that's very typical for these UNC paths, it will transmit its credentials automatically. Since these credentials are often weakly hashed, uh, you will be able to essentially receive uh, the credentials being used by the underlying Windows server that is operating this particular device manager. You should already have a fix in place for that in terms of just uh, blocking outbound port 445 connections. But of course, this could also be exploited internal 
in your network. Well, uh, definitely also make sure that you do restrict NTLM, the weak hashing that's often being exploited here, and then patch the Coursera device manager. And talking about all things connected to networks, who would have thought that wrenches that are used to tighten and loosen nuts are being connected to networks? Apparently, that is a thing. Bosch produces the Rexroth handheld nut runner, which is a device that is connected to networks and apparently vulnerable. It's heavily used in the automotive industry. It states in the Ars Technica article that describes the particular vulnerability. And this vulnerability could in particular be used to make the devices inoperable, essentially leading to a ransomware scenario. Well, that's it for today. Sorry a little bit for the delay in pushing the Microsoft Patch Tuesday diary today. Just teaching got in the way and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.